Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can solve roots or radicals on the Casio FC 200V Financial Consultant Calculator. To do this we'll use the shift key that looks like this located here, the 5 key with the shift function of square root that looks like this located here, the catalog key that looks like this, located here, and the bracket keys that look like this, located here. If we just want to square root a number on this calculator, we have two options. If we want to use the keypad, we press Shift and then 5 to see the square root symbol on our screen there. And then let's say we want to square root 25, we would enter the 25. Close our brackets and hit exe. And we see we get the result of square root of 25 is equal to 5. We can also solve this using the catalog key. Again, if we want to find the square root of 25, we can press catalog and then scroll all the way down. until we see the square root, select that, enter our 25, close our bracket, and hit exe. And there we go. Again, we get the square root of 25 is equal to 5. What if we want to cube root a number? Like, for example, find the cube root of 1,000. To do this, again, we use the catalog key. So we press catalog, scroll down until we see cube root, select that, and we see the cube root symbol on our screen. We enter the 1000, close our bracket, and hit exe. And see, we get the cube root of 1000 is equal to 10. What if we want to find a root that isn't a square root or a cube root, like, for example, the fourth root of 16? To do this, first we put the number of the root on our screen. So if we're doing fourth root of 16, we put 4 on our screen, and then press catalog, and scroll all the way down. until we see x root, select that, and then put the 16 in there, and close our bracket. If we're just solving the root and nothing else, you don't actually have to put the bracket in there, but it is good practice to remember to do that. And then hit exe, and we see the fourth root of 16 is equal to 2. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope this has been helpful. If it has, you can help me out by hitting that like button and subscribe for more calculator tips in the future. And as always, good luck on those tests out there, everybody. You've got this.